Pasta fagioli, is it pasta, is it soup? I don't know, it's somewhere in between. It's between a casserole and a soup. What I do know is, it's delicious. A couple of parts to this. One is beans, and the second bit is pasta. These are cannellini beans. These guys have been soaked overnight just in plain water. So I'm gonna get them into a stock pot straight away. And we're gonna create a stock and cook the beans at the same time. So I'm gonna grab some carrot, a couple of uh, stalks of celery. We don't need to weigh it out. We don't need to measure it, it doesn't matter. I'm cutting them in half and then I'm cutting them in half. Hiya! <laughs> don't throw food. All right, carrot goes straight in. Now, garlic. I mean, that's quite a big head of garlic, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Put it in, skin and all. In our house, we use a lot of pancetta and guanciale, and so we always have, you know, the waste. There is so much flavor comes out of that. A Parmesan rind. Normally, everyone just chucks these in the bin. Get them in a stock. Sprinkle of salt. See you later. On the back stove. And we're gonna let it cook. I'm gonna say 90 minutes it's gonna to take to cook your caramel beans. Give or take, depends how big your beans are, but what you wanna do is cook them until the beans are nice and soft. The other bit is the body of the soup. We're about to make a tomato sauce that you can then build out with different flavors and layers. The best way to start that is our mate here, our guanciale. All that fat will render into our pot. So let's get this into our pan and starting. Okay, next up. Onion and garlic. Look at the size of that garlic clove. Look at that. One large clove of garlic or two like normal size ones. One brown onion, off we go. Straight in. Straight away, get your wooden spoon in there. Give it a good stir. One thing that I did forget, I always forget something. This is a smoked chili, like a chipotle chili. It's smoked and I forgot to put it in my stock. <laughs> so that can go in my stock right now starting to get some nice caramelization in the pan. Okay, nice, beautiful herbs. Basil, rosemary, sage. You don't need to be perfect into the pan. And we're gonna add some more chili. Now, I quite like a hot soup, so I'm gonna add another whole smoked chili. 10 tomatoes, nothing wrong with them, fantastic. I like using whole tin tomatoes for this, and I just break them up a little bit in the bowl before I add them in. Have a look in here, Rob. So we can see beautiful caramelization going on. It's one of those recipes that fills the house with joy. Tomatoes in. When the tomatoes hit the pan, it kind of deglazes all of the caramelized flavors down the bottom of the pan. So you make sure you use the bottom of your wooden spoon and just make sure you get all of those sticky caramelized bits off the bottom of that pan because it's all flavor. Don't want to catch the tomato on the bottom and burn it. We want to reduce all of the liquid out of the tomato and the onions and make sure it ends up being like a tomato paste. Okay, next up, white wine is next in the pan. So, one for me, one for the pot. Is that a large cup? Come and have a look in here, Rob. What we'll see in here, the pan's pretty much dry and it's starting to catch. All of the moisture has been evaporated out of our tomatoes, so we're gonna add the wine in our pan, give it a little mix, and then we know that's gonna be okay for five minutes. Okay, so I've got a couple of things now. I've got some Cavolo Nero, or Tuscan cabbage, I think is the other name for it in uh, some supermarkets. And I've got some pasta that I've pre-cooked in stock as we've zip-zipped. This is what Cavolo Nero looks like. Comes like this. Then I blanch it in some salted water, and that's what it looks like. And then I've got some pasta. So a lot of people just use macaroni. Some people use risoni. It's entirely up to you. I'm gonna barbecue that in a minute. Before I do, I'll just spread this out a little bit. I'm gonna season it, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and some extra virgin olive oil. Back in a bowl. All right, let's go. All right, barbecue. Barbecue, little hibachi, basic kind of guy. I've just got a few little bits of timber that I use for smoking. The other thing I've got here ready to go is some red wine vinegar. Remember, we've seasoned this with some oil and a little bit of salt and pepper. Cavolo Nero loves this caramelization wood smoke. It doubles down in the flavor pretty much. Now, to drizzle some red wine vinegar on top of our cabbage. Look at that. The red wine vinegar gets immediately absorbed inside the Cavolo Nero. Now we've just tripled down on the flavor. It's slightly caramelized, but not burnt. And, oh my God, it's delicious. Hmm. 
go back inside. Okay, so we've got our delicious guanciale herbs tomato -y number. We've got a cooked pasta. We've got a cavolo nero, which we've lovingly barbecued. It is super delicious. We've got lots of lovely vegetables, etc., in here, which we can use. They could be chopped up and added into your soup if you wanted, if, or you can use them in a different dish entirely. Strain off now the rest of our stock and our beans. We're actually gonna get a third of the beans and a third of the stock and blitz it together. We're gonna stick a velvety bean guy. Pump the heat up in there. I'm gonna spoon piles of this so as it can show up above the soup. Our beans can go back in to get nice and hot. Our pasta can go back in here. A dash of red wine vinegar. So by now our beans have reheated nicely. Our pasta is also hot. So we're gonna add our beans and our pasta in between all these little mounds. Look at that, oh yeah. Now, our greens. The greens are instantly, they're still warm, but they're gonna heat up a lot. But look at the colors that are going on in the bowl. Okay, so now we're ready to really pour in the rest of the liquid. Hello, look at that. We've just separated it out a little bit to make it look a little bit more luxury. Now we're going on with I think we'll do a little bit of basil first. Then we'll go with some parmesan. Come on, look at how good that looks. Chili. There it is. It's my pasta fagioli, ready for the whole family.